I want to find the inverse of this function, and then I want to find the domain for the regular function and its inverse. So I'm going to start off by swapping x and y out so to find the inverse. So x is equal to 2 times the cosine of 3y plus 2. So I'm going to start off by dividing x divided by 2 is equal to the cosine of 3y plus 2. Then I'm going to take the inverse cosine, x divided by 2, and then I'm going to Oops, forget about this. So I'm going to subtract by 2, cosine inverse of x divided by 2, minus 2. And then I'm going to finally divide 3 by 3. So y is equal to cosine inverse of x divided by 2, minus 2, all divided by 3. And what I have up here is... Um, well, my regular function, the bounds on that simply f, f of x, or f, is just simply negative infinity to infinity. So I can put in any number for that. For my inverse, I'm limited between negative 1, x, and 1. So that means I'm going to have to set x divided by 2 equal to negative 1. I'm going to have to set x divided by 2 equal to 1. Multiply each side by 2, so I get x is equal to negative 2, and then I'm going to get x is equal to 2. So my inverse function's domain is going to be, oops, it's going to be brackets, and it's going to be negative 2 to 2. So here's our domain. <sighs> and, come on. I never see this cursor and I hate it. And here's our inverse function. Alright, that's it.